So we have talked about um, parameter ID, variant, layout, a lot of different tools to improve the user experience. And now I will talk to you about the SAP GXT, which is a great tool to organize and really um, adapt all the transaction in SAP you want according to really only your imagination. You can do a lot of different things according to these tools. The first thing is to go in SAP and click here on more SAP GIS settings and actions and activate GXT. You have just to click on it, then you will have the little button here, the little bullet, and you will also open this uh, tool. So here you have on the left the screen element, what SAP can see on the screen. And on the right, you have the script where you will be able to perform the changes according to the layout. But before that, we have to parameter it. So you can click on the profile. You have another here um, windows that pop up and here you can organize and um, make all the different settings according to these tools. The more important one is the script here, one, two, three, four, when you will um, put your script and where SAP will read it. On my side, it's this link, but you can put a link according to your computer. You can see it's on my C computer. You have a, li uh, a lot of different possibilities and options, but I will let you refer to the documentation that you will find in this training. I can also, uh, you will see a screenshot of this configuration so that you can see my configuration and how it works. But don't hesitate to check the documentation also according to these tools. And when everything is parameter, you click on the OK and we will now continue. First, let's check an easy transaction which is called EI03 to choose and display the information of equipment. If I take this pop-up, you can see now that on the screen elements, you see a field for F, the equipment and its position. You have also the input field, which is related here. You can see that it's really simple and you cannot perform a lot of different things except maybe the parameter ID to fill in this information. But let's try to modify this layout. For that, we go here on the computer and you can recover the script here. It's just a notepad. You double click on it and you will open the windows here, completely empty. You can check the name SAP M IEQ0, it's exactly the same that you find here. It's important that it's matched so that SAP can retrieve your document. Now let's try to modify something. We have seen that with the parameter ID, I'm able to fill in this, which is also possible like that with the set field equipment and the value. I save. And now if I refresh, you see the 1000 uh, number is automatically, automatically populated in the field. But what we cannot do before, it's to change the description here. It's written equipment, but maybe you want to change it according to something which is more um, easy to understand for the business. Let's try to write PO number, which is completely wrong. We are okay just to show you the strengths uh, and the possibility that you can perform with this tool. If you save and I refresh again, you see now I'm able to change even description of the field. But that's not all. I want, for example, to add a push button that will open a new transaction. 
I can add a push button where it will be located on the field, the name of this push button and the transaction that will be called when I will press on it. I can save, refresh once again, and now you see here the search button appear. And if I click on it, I open the ME23N transaction. If I go back, what is magical is also if I go back once again, everything is kept. Don't forget that it's really related to the computer, to the user. So for another person with another computer, he will not see that. He will see the normal transaction of SAP. But let's continue. You have a lot of different possibilities. Look at what I can put here. I can add a text reference just to explain some information for the user. I can add some checkbox, radio button, label, and so on. I just save it and then I refresh and here you can see the checkbox, the option and what's, what is also really interesting is that you can write some logic inside. You can for example write if I click on the option one and I click on the search button it's another transaction. If I click on the checkbox X here, maybe I can add a new input field. You have a lot of possibilities according to the needs of the business and your imagination. So don't hesitate to check a little bit more the um, documentation according to this tool, which is really important is that it's included directly in SAP. Um, all the people that have access to SAP has access also to this SAP GXT. So focus a little bit on that, check what could be interesting and also remember that when you will be in your biz daily business and you will discuss with the business um, and where they will explain you all the problem they have with the layout and so on and try to adapt it. You can also even add some um, images and so on to really create a kind even of cockpit. So check on that. It's really good tool to improve the efficiency and also the user acceptance of the business. Thanks for watching this video.